Thank you so much, Charles. So a very, very well warm welcome to Performance Days 2022, November 3rd, here in the MOC for one time. I'm very happy and very pleased to start the day off with the expert talks. And I want to talk about the forum insights um, that we had on the performance materials throughout our jury for, th for this show. So, the latest performance trends on the tables and accessories, you will talk about novelties for winter 2024, from first layer to outer shell, for important trends in fabrics and functions, focus topic, the journey to carbon neutrality, and this time it's going to be about time to score. We will have more than 1,000 product submissions, from more than 185 exhibitors. There are 314 selected fabrics on the tables in Hall 3. And we have 144 selected accessories here presented in Munich on the wall. So please also go on the digital loop um, because all exhibitors that exhibit here have the option to upload many, many more materials, many more trend materials throughout on their website and through material search you can find fantastic other fabrics as well. So we have many great sustainable fiber variations and base layer this year. So Tensile blends can be seen in numerous looks, color variation, and their extreme softness. We have organic cotton, or cotton with sea wool, or merino wool. And we have ethically produced wool variations as well as regenerative merino wool. You will find bio-based spandex, such as Hyosung or recycled lycra. Nylon from post-consumer, waste remains a trend, and waffle structures. As well as in terms of color, you will find some soft pastels, tones, nude optics, natural shades, and a lot of black. If you will look at the base layers, you see innovative blends, recycled polyamide inside with tensile, wool blend outside for perfect moisture management, Merino wool, Cordura blend, protection against tears, scuffs, and abrasions. Merino wool, biodegradable, bio-based, polyamide, Evo by Folger, and graphene yarn added. Then we have natural comfort, sea cell additive, anti-free radicals, anti-aging, moisturizing, hypoallergenic from natural seaweed. We have oyster shell. Comfort of natural fibers, merino wool, organic wool, and tensile, 100% biodegradable. You will find bio-based blends, bio-based spandex combined with carbon capture yarn, bio-treatment stands for a low-carbon footprint. And you will find some jacquard knit jersey with gripper band on the edge made with 40% Royka and bio-based spandex. The mid layers are this year, this season, very versatile for 24 and a d very diverse category. Varieties range from biodegradable nylon or recycled polyester to highly technical innovations, such as bio-based nylon, French terries, tensile, wool blends, or organic cotton terry. We have Great development of antimicroplastic technologies. Non-brushed fabric optics alternative with brushed material fibers. Industry is looking for environmentally friendly green polyester alternatives and biodegradable polyester. In the mid layers, you will find some natural mid layers, such as three thread structures, fleece of hemp, organic cotton, tensile, lyocell that gives the fabric softness. We have three thread fleece from hemp, tensile, lyocell, wool, RWS with wool inside and natural touch outside. And you will find hemp organic cotton with super grid fleece. Then we have less microfiber constructions, 
such as rayon and naya cellulose acetate made from sustainably sourced wood combined with bio-based sorona fibers for mechanical stretch properties. And Polartec Power Stretch, advanced dual surface knit construction. Then you will find recycled nylon from old car tires, 37.5 technology, polyester with EB additive to enhance biodegradation, 3D constructed, delta peaked with super soft hand fill and good wicking, quick dry. In the soft shell and outer mid layers, there are very few innovations in the classic soft shell segment. But in addition to technical soft shells such as power shields, evolution fleeces made of recycled polyester or outer mid layers, made of soft shell construction in trendy waffle structures, or shell construction provide for striking looks. You will see some honeycomb looks. And um, interesting is that graphene provides a special surface. Bio-based polyamide is used as an environmentally friendly concept and sequel fibers. Technical soft gels, you will find 100% recycled polyester, highly stretchy, fully protective and waterproof, membrane weight with plant-based polymers, bio-based nylon and bio-based polyester, three-layer laminate with maximum amount of bio-based new material. Fancy is recycled polyester fabric, solution dyed woven fleece fabric, and double size woven fleece fabric, less microfiber shedding than net fleece. Sharper appearance by double face woven fabric, soft hand feel, moss texture, fluffy and cozy. Merino wool, sequel polyester blend, only wool on the outside is dyed to lower the fabric's footprint. Q-cycle polyamide by Falga, produced by end-of-life tires. Recycled stretch reflective fabric with high visibility. Coming to outer layer, 2.5 and 3 layer, by 2025, the use of fluorocarbons will no longer be permitted in Europe. Focus is on developments that bring function to the fabric, yet refrain from the use of chemical treatments. Many blended fabrics alternate in this category with recycled fibers such as recycled polyamide. Flying Tex processes 100% organic nylon chips made from castor oil, reducing the use of petroleum. Green Twits convinces with an option made of waterproof three-layer fabrics made of 100% recycled twisted polyamide with mechanical stretch. Sympatex presents the STX Bricks and Sky, a lightweight three-layer performance laminate. The first and second layers are made from 100% recycled PES. The material has a technical look and is ideal for fashion, athleisure, or technical sportswear goods, thanks to the mini ripstop structure on the fabric. Coming to the membranes you will see some high-end hydrophilic membrane which can reach 20,000 water resistance and 35,000 um, moisture vapor permeability. Polyurethane monolithic hydrophilic membrane and TPU membrane printed with Trizar which can improve the breathability and avoids the fabric sticking on the skin. In 2.5 and 3 layer, we have quite a few dope dyeing, e dye waterless color system technology, fabrics made from garment waste through chemical recycling. As well, you will find some light well crinkle polyamide 3 layer fabric, 2.5 layer recycled dyed yarn fabric, and nylon made from castor oil to lower the CO2 emissions. In the outer layer, two layer, you will find some beautiful lightweight fabric variations, recycled polyester or recycled nylon, many mis recycled fabrics from fabric residues and fabric waste. Recycled TBU, thermoplastic polyurethane, is extremely tear and abrasion resistant. The dyeing technologies for two layer are as well dope dyed yarn, low temperature dyeing, solution dyed yarn, 
all have lower carbon footprint compared to virgin peace dying. Water, energy and gas emissions are reduced. Fantastic to see is also that garment and textile waste now will be transmitted into performance materials, so such as recycled polyester fabrics made from recycled waste garment or cutting waste, stock fabric and offcuts that are not used. The membranes are, for example, recycled polyester membranes, GRS certified hydrophilic membrane up to 20K, 20K, bio-based membrane, and DuPont bio-based serono membrane. In the lightweight and downproof, there are some glossy looks in classic black. Dyeing is often with natural colors, for example, coffee, where there are waterless dyeing methods, fabric treated with castor oil that does not wrinkle, does not smell, and is also ultralight. Beeswax is used to impregnate lightweight and downproof fabrics. Beeswax is providing a new surface structure as well as tear and abrasion resistant. The extreme lightweight starts at 31 grams, and you will see some 50 denier yarns, recycled nylon from GRS pre-consumer, recycled polyamide, fishnet ocean wastes, renicle from recycled nylon 6. There are quite a few monocomponent fabrics that are mostly from recycled polyamide, with beeswax coating, providing a new surface structure and tears and brazen resistance. Of course, there are some really fancy lightweights this time, such as the micro whip stop with the digital overprint special treatment to give shine, a 20 denier nylon dyed using an innovative process, and pocket weave. The trend towards natural fabrics is ongoing in shirt. Polyester shows up from carbon capture yarn, fibers made of 100% organic cotton, hemp, and merino are dominant. Plant-based finish to ward off mosquito to combat unpleasant odors, and bird technology. The natural blends are recycled wool, tensile modal, tensile lyocell, organic cotton, 100% cotton with a plant-based mosquito repellent finish. The text with small ventilation holes integrated into the design, seersucker structure with small ventilation holes, four-way stretch with seersucker appearance, and three-tone stripe slop jersey. Woven pants fabrics in pants and tights are made of 100% organic cotton, hemp, and merino, and it's quite dominant there. Recycled wool with modal land a soft touch and provide for warmth in winter. Great stretchability and water repellency. And recycled nylon from old car tires. The knitted tight fabrics are often cozy, thick, warm jerseys. Q-cycle polyamide, innovative polyamide made from recycled tires by Folger. Cupro edit for luxury touch and rip optic or 3D. The woven pant fabrics, recycled nylon from old cartels, chemical recycling, pyrolysis, classic check fabrics, ideal for suiting. Natural woven pant fabrics, all with 2% elastane or 2% lycra, different fiber blends with hemp, BCI cotton, Merino wool, organic cotton, and tensile lyocell. As well as twill surface, great stretchability and water repellency, denim with hemp and wool, good strength, water repellence, and elasticity. Knitted tight fabrics are cozy thick warm jerseys, Q cycle polyamide, innovative polyamide made from recycled tires by Folger. Cupro added for luxury touch, interlock air textured. 
The knitted tight fabrics are rip optic, recycled perforated stretch reflective fabric with high visibility, fine knit fabric with a waterless print, the eco wave method. Coming to function meets fashion. Sports fashion and submitted fabric innovations reflect the zeitgeist for winter 24 25. Incredibly versatile and beautiful textures and constructions. The jaguars is in soft pastel shade meet the current zeitgeist of digital youngsters, accompanied by great sports style look at extraordinary graphics. So you will find some nice varieties of prints to surfaces and textures. Three-layer ultrasonic bonding, sophisticated wave look with semi-transparent transparent elements, shiny stretch and downproof. Tie-dyeing technique to create unique pattern, new pattern te technology of soft gel with 3D hollow layer that captures body heat. Sherpa fleece with excellent warm, super soft hand feel. Seamless warp knit echo needle nylon with body mapping for ventilation and support areas. Jacar knit with deadlock colored yarn for inventory. Coming to safety, health and durability. 2024 season offers little in terms of innovation, but the range of robust materials without the use of chemicals is sufficient, with neon tones of yellow, orange, pink or green varieties dominating in terms of color. New recycled options, including multiple recycled nylon and recycled polyester, remain in trend. Durability, abrasion protection, tear resistance, elasticity, breathability, wearing comfort. Working materials need to have high technical performance values. In the high-vis fabrics, there are this time some bio-based TPU membrane, TPU biomembrane from Dupont Sustera. Solution dyed polyester, 100% recycled biodegradable polyester, and Sherpa fleece fabric. 100% organic cotton, very densely woven, recycled polyamide by Econil, recycled Cordura nylon, PFC free water repellent finishes, and abrasion tear and tear resistant. The focus in the bags and footwear segment is on robust fabrics that can be applied in the bag and shoe sector. So it's the second time we show bags and footwear and we want to actually um, enlarge this section. And it requires materials which stand up to the harshest weather conditions. Long lasting products are possible with woven containing Cordura or recycled polypropylene. You will find some ultra soft suede knit like knit textile popular from palm materials of cycling gloves, 0.75 millimeters recycled sustainable leather, alternative with great performance and hand feel. Pineapple yarn added to recycled polyester, structure fabric by yarn combination, two tone fibers yarn are dope dyed, high density construction. Footwear as sustainable content, recycled polyester, recycled rubber, FSC certified natural rubber, tensile lyocell, and cotton. Coming to the accessories. On our wall special, um, I was very proud to see the development of our carbon footprint journey because um, last, last season we saw the first pilot developments of certain directions such as for example garment and textile waste and now we can really see first fabric suppliers that offer recycled polyester from garment waste. One is offering technology chem chemically decomposed polyester fibers into raw material. The same will be CRZ recycled polyester yarn. Interesting is that CRZ saves energy and reduces CO2 emission, but the fabric quality will be the same as virgin polyester. Another factory offers garment recycled PS is GRN. The other one that we saw first fabrics as pilots in last season was with carbon capture yarn, and I think it's a fantastic technology to 
capture the yarn from the carmen, from the gases that come from the factories, and recycle it into new fabrics. So carbon capture yarn is slowly moving out of pilot state with Lanza Tech Carbon Capture Yarn Evolves. The carbon recycling tech company converts the greenhouse gas into ethanol. Then ethanol is turned into monoethylene glycol, a chemically normal made from fossil fuels. Finally, the monoethylene glycol is converted to polyester called bio, bio 3 PET filament. Also, CCU yarn by Aramo used by Everest leads to some new developments. Recycled car tire nylon is the third big trend. We've seen first, we've seen recycled car tire nylon in pants fabrics. Now you will find it in any category. So any layer has now the option to offer car, recycled car tire nylon. So recycled car tire nylon is now available from many fabric suppliers and for different categories and functional textiles. The polyamide yarn is obtained from tires, chemically recycled pyrolysis, such as BASF at the end of their useful life. Besides of the low ecological impact of the yarn, other raw materials are generated and can be used for different applications without any waste during the process. Coming to the, fa to, uh, the accessories themselves. The visibility add-ons have some full reflective screen printed transfers, silver reflective particle print, and transfer with only selected parts that are reflective. In the labels and patches, we have some 100% tensile lyocell, full leather patch with grape left over, recycled TPU, recycled paper label, PU film with tea leaf waste. Then there are some thin lines, le less ink transfers, anti-abrasion transfers, 3D heat transfer with cork, water-based heat transfer with PU. In tapes, there is grip band with dream shape, high compressive elastic webbing, recycled eco cool max, mesh tape, glow-in-the-dark blended yarn. In trims, recycled horn buttons, bio-based, nylon cord stopper, new style of recycled polyester cord, smart cord lock system made of recycled nylon, and organic cotton, recycled polyester blends, and 100% recycled polyester, 100% recycled polyamide econyl. So, and the 100% polyester, recycled polyester is reprieve. So we have reprieve zippers, econyl zippers, and we also have one variation of 100% biodegradable. In applications and linings, you will see sewing threads made of recycled polyester, recycled polyamide, or organic cotton. We have cycling pads for men's and women's anatomy with knitted breeze yarns for cooling effect. And fabric ideal for inserts and applications. Insulation and fibers is 100% lyocell, first 100% biodegradable padding under natural conditions. 100% recycled polyester padding and graphene additive. Now, talking about the focus topic journey to carbon neutrality, time to score. So since the last edition of Performance Days in spring of 2022, the jury has been following a path and a part of a roadmap of fiber and material experts towards the goal of CO2 neutrality. In the focus topic category, coinciding with the upcoming winter edition, the green light to participate was exclusively given to fabric innovation that could certify initial values in CO2 reduction for the submitted fiber innovations. In combination with the current HIC index, the aim is to make it possible in the future to achieve a better assessment of the CO2 balance in the production and development of new materials and fibers for the industry itself. And I would like to ask Charles Ross to explain us a little bit more about it. Thank you, Charles. Thank you, Thank you, Alexa. Um, we're all fascinated by the carbon impact on fabrics. And this is the second show of a three-parter trying to get every fabric swatch to have a carbon impact on. 
Now, carbon impact is what we most associate with the climate crisis. We laid out a methodology at the last show. Our biggest conclusion this time is that all the fabrics in the forum area on the focus topic do have a carbon rating on. So a polyester coming out of China is...